Hey everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about some tips that every new driver needs to hear. That's right, every new driver should hear these tips. When I was a new driver, I wished that I heard these tips because they would have completely changed my driving career and made me a much better driver much faster than ever before. So let's get right into it. Tip number one for every new driver is your driving controls are not like on and off switches okay so your driving controls I'm talking about your primary ones your gas your brake and your steering they are pressure sensitive they have in-betweens okay it's not like on off you know you have your radio you have your climate controls on or off right simple but not your gas your brake and your steering is not like that there are they are sort of almost like an art form instead of a science or a math if you can imagine that I'm an elementary school teacher that's why I'm bringing up these analogies but basically you want to make sure that you are controlling them completely you're not flipping them on and off you don't floor it and release it for the gas pedal you ease into it and you figure out where that pressure sensitivity lies that you need to access okay number two is learning to drive is a lifelong marathon not a sprint okay you can't speed it up basically when you're learning to drive you need to dedicate a certain number of hours to getting a driving skill there's no exception there are better drivers and worse drivers but re in reality if you want to learn how to parallel park you need to devote i would say three to four hours before you're really good at it minimum okay so three to four hours you can't do it in 15 minutes you can't get that good in 15 minutes you know you can do the three to four hours at once or you could do the three to, the three to four hours over the course of five months right you can do it faster you can get those hours and faster but you can't just learn things so it's a lifelong marathon not a sprint number three is safety is above every other driving skill obviously I want you to learn how to drive smoothly that's a key factor but I would rather you be a safe driver than a smooth driver I'll tell you why if you're driving you know and you have the option to take a turn smoothly okay and not be safe or take a turn safely and not be smooth any driving instructor any person any passenger any pedestrian any driving examiner for the driving test would rather you do it safely okay i promise you one thing you might lose points for not being smooth in the driving test but you will most certainly lose points and probably fail for not being safe so what would you rather do would you rather maybe lose a couple points or almost guaranteed fail be safe okay above every other driving skill and believe it or not driving safety is actually a driving skill number four is use your mirrors and windows when parking so when you're reversed yeah and obviously and everything else you're gonna look all around oh, that's a that's a given you're gonna signal check your blind spots blah 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 but and steer and whatever but I'm talking about as an added bonus when you're reversing when you're reversing sorry, I can't even speak when you're reversing your side mirrors will show you where the sides of your car are key factor not Obviously, like I said, you got to look all around, but your side mirrors are a key factor, okay? When you're forward parking, okay, you're going to be able to look through your window to see where the, the, the parking stop line is. So whether you're looking for the line which is ending the parking spot or the curb that you're trying to stop before, and you don't want to hit the curb, obviously, you know, you can look through your window. So your mirrors and your windows are key factors. Number five, always signal for the rest of your driving career. You know, people are getting ready for the driving test. They signal, they get their license, they feel all cool. Yo, what's up? Hey, man. Yeah, man, I'm so cool. I don't signal. Listen, buddy, buddy, humble yourself, signal all the time, okay? So many drivers, I don't care what age, 30, 40, 80, even worse, you're 80, you're driving. You should signal, man. Come on. You know, anyways, I see them all the time, every day, and it burns my blood. People don't signal. Always use your signal forever it'll save you from accidents and believe me it will save you from other people getting frustrated with you <laughs> you know what i'm saying okay number six learn where your bumpers are you need to practice and figure out where your bumpers are um this is because you need to know for safety number one and for comfort so when you park in a parking spot you want to know where your bumper is so you're not like sticking out that you know way too far forwards or backwards out of the parking spot okay you know if you're driving and you're coming to a stop you want to know where your bumper is it's as simple as that you know you just need to know you need to be able to estimate the front of your car um what I suggest is you go to an empty parking lot. As I've said this many times in different videos you go to an empty parking lot you drive come to a stop put the car in park 
go see where your bumper is, okay? And try and stop, you know, like an empty parking lot. So try and stop at a certain parking line in the parking lot. So try and stop, see if you got close. And then try it again, see if you got closer. Try it again, see if you got closer. So basically you wanna stop and try and get your bumper at a certain line. And then eventually when you've practiced, and it only takes probably about an hour of practice, you'll know exactly where your bumper is. And then your driving every day will be your practice because you're gonna know where your bumper is as you drive every day. So all you need is that initial hour of practice to get it down. And then, you know, the rest, the other practice can just be your daily driving. That's it. Those are my six tips for every new driver that I think that every new driver needs to hear. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching